What's up, you guys? So the last time we all gathered around to discuss the messy divorce drama between Jeezy and Jeannie Mai, Jeezy had requested full custody of their daughter, Monaco, claiming that Jeannie was too busy working to care for their child anyway and that her mom and her brother were actually raising their daughter. Now, just nine short days later, Jeezy is backtracking and has decided to vacate his request for full custody and instead aim for joint custody. So he is all over the place. He's all over the place in this court case. And I read y'all's comments that he is just trying to avoid paying child support paying the full amount of child support. So we're gonna get into that in this video. But first, if you're watching and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and everyone click the thumbs up button. Hey guys, so on April 10th, just nine short days ago, Jeezy filed a request through his new attorney to have full custody of their daughter because Jeannie Mai was too busy to care for their daughter in his opinion. And he claimed that Mama Mai and Brother Mai were actually the ones raising Monica. And for Jeezy to be such a successful rapper, it's surprising to hear that he thinks Jeannie is too busy when he seems to be the parent with the busier lifestyle. Jeannie clearly works doing television hosting in LA, but Jeezy is always performing. If you look on his website now, you can see that he's actually on tour and traveling all across the country. So him claiming Jeannie is too busy to parent when she seems to be in one location and he's all over the country doesn't make sense. Make it make sense, Jeezy. Shout out to Mims. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense unless you look at it through the lens of a parent trying to avoid child support. That's what y'all pointed out in the comments. And I think y'all made some good points. Do Better said he's just trying to avoid paying child support. I see nothing wrong with her mom watching the baby if she's working. It's no different from dropping the child off at daycare while parents are working. Impactfully said Jeezy is full of himself. He wants to see Jeannie suffer and he doesn't want to pay child support. She was a hardworking woman before she married him. What I find silly is he doesn't have the same energy for his other kids' moms. Does he even have experience raising a child? He can't stand that Jeannie is looking unfazed in this divorce. Stacy said, Monica needs to be with her mother full time. It sounds like Jeezy is trying to avoid child support because he is just as busy as Jeannie is. At least Monaco is familiar with Mama Mai and Jeannie's brother. And Sierra asks, why is Jeezy weaponizing the fact that she has a village? She's a working mom. Jeezy at this point has been through this whole visitation and child support saga before. This is not his first rodeo in court, unfortunately. Back in 2010, his first child's mother had to take him to court to get him to pay the proper amount of child support based on his income. And in 2021, he took his second child's mother to court, apparently to lower the child support that he was paying her. So Jeezy trying to get full custody to avoid paying a large amount in child support does fit his track record. It looks like he has a pattern of avoiding child support. And I really wish Jeannie would have paid more attention to his past and not falling for the okie doke. But we live and we learn, right? We live and we learn. And at this point, Jeezy has dropped his request for primary custody and is now seeking joint custody. Jeezy still claims that he's only seen their daughter eight times this year and Jeannie is not keeping up her end of the mediation agreement they came up with regarding custody. He says Jeannie moved out of the home they were supposed to be sharing temporarily and she's blocked him on her phone so he can't FaceTime with their daughter. And he said he was able to take their daughter on vacation with him from March 3rd through the 9th. But when he had his assistant to go pick up his daughter in April to spend more time with him, Jeannie and Monaco were not there. Neither one of them was there. And on her end, Jeannie has claimed that Jeezy's weapons are not safely secured. And she's concerned about their daughter's safety when she's with him. And Jeannie apparently took photographs of Jeezy's duffel bag with a weapon in it that he had left near his daughter while he went upstairs to get something. And she submitted those photographs to the court. 
So when you put it all together, if he left his duffel bag with his weapon around his daughter in late March or early April, that may be why Jeannie Mai moved out and did not have his daughter at the home when Jeezy sent his assistant to pick her up recently. That could be the reason. In any case, their divorce is so messy and Jeezy seems to be all over the place as far as what he wants. First, he wants full custody. Then he wants joint custody. First, he wants Jeannie to fire her attorneys. Then he says, never mind, keep your attorneys. And he changes his attorney. It's all a mess with a two-year-old child in the middle. So you guys leave a comment and let me know what you think about Jeezy and Jeannie and how they're handling their divorce. That's all. What's up, you guys? So Cheryl Burke, who is the ex-wife of Chili's now boyfriend, Matthew Lawrence, just did an interesting interview with People Magazine that has left fans wondering if Chili is a breadwinner in her relationship with Matthew Lawrence. Cheryl Burke says she definitely was the breadwinner in her marriage to Matthew Lawrence, and it impacted their marriage in a negative way. All right, you guys, so Cheryl Burke did this interview and the headline is Cheryl Burke says being the breadwinner in marriage to Matthew Lawrence wasn't good for the relationship. The former Dancing with the Stars pro and Boy Meets World alum officially divorced in 2022. That's the same year he started dating Chili. They say Cheryl Burke took some pointers on love from her marriage to Matthew Lawrence. The Dancing with the Stars alum learned that you can't buy love. That's what she told of all people, Amy Robach and TJ Holmes on an episode of their podcast. She said, quote, I tried to not, obviously. I didn't buy my ex-husband, but like I definitely would say I was the breadwinner. Like I supported us and I don't think it's black and white. They say Cheryl Burke's Dancing with the Stars gig kept her in the spotlight throughout her marriage to Matthew Lawrence, who's best known for starring in the 90s TV shows Boy Meets World, Brotherly Love, and the movie Mrs. Doubtfire. And as far as being the breadwinner in the marriage, she said, quote, it's like it made me feel good, but then it didn't necessarily make the relationship good. She said, I had a false sense of security but it's also emasculating. And so it creates an awful dynamic. So her being the breadwinner created an awful dynamic in her relationship. And so if you look at her net worth, this is from Celebrity Net Worth. And I know these net worth websites online are not always accurate, but I do feel like they give you an idea of people's net worth. It might not be completely accurate, but it gives you an idea. And so it says her net worth is 3 million. And for Matthew Lawrence, it does say that his net worth is less than hers. It says his net worth is $2 million. So her saying that she was a breadwinner doesn't seem to be far-fetched. It sounds like it could be true. But it has fans wondering, what about Chili? Is she the breadwinner in her relationship with Matthew Lawrence? And is that also emasculating him? If you look at Chili's net worth, it is three times that of Matthew Lawrence. Her net worth is six million. So she may also be the breadwinner in her relationship with Matthew Lawrence. But what I want to ask you guys is not necessarily specifically about Chili and Matthew Lawrence, because we can see her net worth is allegedly three times his. But how would you handle it if you made three times the amount of money than your partner? Would you be the breadwinner? Or would you still let him pay the household bills and you just save your money, keep it to yourself, but not spend it on him? Like not spend it on vacations, not buy him luxury items. Like how would you approach that? Leave a comment and let me know how you would handle that. As always, thanks for watching. Layla, Layla.